Hi, this is Maryam Fatma. Watch me on Late Night with Soel Hashmi on Visual Works only on YouTube. Late Night with Soel Hashmi, it's an honor and a pleasure. Tonight we have an upcoming actress for you. She is absolutely beautiful, and if you can check out the dress, wow, it is superb. She has acted in Twisted Sapne. Uh, she is doing a lot of uh, work for adverts as well, and she's going into a lot of drama. So, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, because there can only be one, sultry voice, Mariam Fatima. The lovely, the gorgeous, Mariam Fatima. How are you, dear? I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Oh, that's really, really great. What a, what a deep voice you have. My God, you're so deep! Um, when I, when I, you're looking absolutely stunning, I must say, and I'm sure everybody will agree with that. When I look at you, I really feel I, will, I really wish I was about 150 years younger. Why I, I, is that? I, I really do. <laughs> It's just one of those things. but I uh, think you're fine the way you are. You think? Yeah. You're too kind, but thank you so much. You know, I saw you in this amazing uh, film that I can't uh, get out of my mind. It was called Twisted Sapne. Right? You, yeah. You, uh, and the role that you played in that was like everybody's desired effect of what a girlfriend should be like. Yeah, a so, femme fatale. Yeah, you know, really, really fantastic. Um, how and when did you get that part? So, um, a friend of mine was the director and he wrote the script and he did everything and he just um, contacted me and he asked me if I'd like to be a part of it. And I, you know, he narrated the whole story to me. It was pretty nice. So I was like, you know, I want to be a part of something that's not your run of the mill, you know, kind of thing. And yeah, that's how, that's how I got it. And um, it was a lot of fun because I'm friends with the person who styled me on that. Um, her name's Sonia, and we had a lot of fun. So it was a good project. It was Your voice is so seductive. I haven't heard anything you've said. Good, good, good part. Wow, <laughs> okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, right, so, so yes, Sonia is a name that keeps on coming up in quite a few of our... What's she like? She's, she's lovely. She's lovely? She's lovely. <laughs> But is she as lovely as you are? That's the question. You need to stop. <laughs> I need to you need stop. To stop. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. My good God. Okay. We have quite a few sections uh, that we're going to be uh, talking about. And uh, a few uh, deep sections which have been... Is the cat... Can you hear the cat? Right. Shall I keep quiet till the cat stops catting? Okay. There are quite a few sections that we have here, my dear. Um, are you hiding your face and your I'm beautiful not. lips? That's right. Okay, I was just with a hand. I was just wondering. Oh God, stunning! Um, there's quite a few sections that we have here. Uh, uh, we're going to be talking about, and one of the sections that we have uh, is called Deepings, uh, deep conversations. I don't know why they call it Deepings. They just call it Deepings. Who these people are, I don't even know. But um, just wanted to ask you, go, going deep into your uh, your career, haven't seen you much uh, on television apart from this film. Uh, that I've seen you in, and uh, after seeing you, I think you should be in a lot of uh, international sort of films and stuff as well. So, what's happening here with your uh, with your career and your and your sort of acting life? So after I did start, there was a point where I started studying psychotherapy, and I was I had to give more time to that. Did you just say psychotherapy? <laughs> yeah. So okay. there was a point where I had a break because of that, and then um, there haven't been many projects that I was really enthusiastic about but so if, I haven't I haven't really been doing a lot of stuff no but if you were a psychotherapist right and you sit down and, and a client comes to see you he's going to be taken away number one by your looks and secondly by that voice <laughs> all the more reason for me to not continue it professionally <laughs> <laughs> okay you found out I did you did all right yes yes we people who don't have problems are going to come to you People will make up problems, you know, like this. Beauty is a burden in itself, so. Okay, oh, that's what I always say to myself, you know, beauty is a burden. And then I put my makeup on and here I am. Um, so yes, so please uh, continue with that. I'll... 
Uh, with what? With yeah. beauty as a burden? No, no, no. <laughs> with, uh, um, with, with, with the fact of you didn't pursue being a psychotherapist. Uh, and what you intend I think to I've also with. never really been serious, serious about acting. That's also a part of it because the, I've been interested in a lot of stuff. I've been right. interested in music, I've been interested in psychology, I've been interested in acting. So I have. I can't focus on one thing. Right. So that, that's what it's been like, but I would like to be a part of something if it's, you know, good enough. Mm. Okay. Um, the focus bit. The focus bit. And I, I, I don't need to say anything about this wonderful generation of yours, but you know, these little things, phones and stuff, at our age, when, when we were young, we would focus on one thing and we want to be a doctor and that's it. You know, now we have to do 50, 60, 70 things just to be able to survive. You know, late night with soil ash me. We, we got a lot of stuff here. I mean, um, having like ADHD is a very different thing and then being interested in different things is a very different mm. thing. Having what? AD? ADHD. That's a what you were referencing. ADHD, which is, means? Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. You just... You just mentioned it. Yes, I, that's I, what you were actually referring yeah, I, to. I didn't <laughs> notice myself being that eloquent. But um, could you just say that again, ADHD, in that in that voice of yours? Could you what it actually means? So I can write Atten it. attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Yeah, I've got it. Can you help me? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> You're lovely. You know that, and all the hair going down there. Oh, no, marvelous. Um, Anyway, so uh, now where do you see yourself going with this? How do you, how do you find yourself? Uh, will you, uh, with this uh, disorder, or do you think you will pursue um, the singing or the acting? Or I think I'll pursue pretty much everything that I can. Mm -hmm. like, it's not like I'm just focused in one direction. Mm -hmm. My attention is scattered, mm -hmm. and it's scattered in a good way. So, right, yeah. right. Um, I think because of your accent and because of who you are, I would also see that uh, you could also get a lot of international attention as well. Because you could be Turkish, you could be Irani, you could be Pakistani, you know, with that face, um, you know, and with that dress. Uh, in America, you could be a Red Indian, I don't know, but I mean, uh, international. I look at you and I think, international. Do you get that feeling? Do you have that interest? I understand what you're saying. I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, <laughs> I get it. Thank you. I, I feel like paying for your services. I think <laughs> you've analyzed me. Analyzed me. Why don't you? Um, um, we, we should actually have a segment where I actually analyze people, but uh, we, haven't, uh, we haven't got there. Um, social media. Mm. This wonderful thing called social media, where you don't have to be an actor. Acting करने की कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है, लेकिन there's a thing called Instagram, and if you get enough likes on Instagram, you suddenly get taken and get paid a lot of money for doing all sorts of stuff on television. Have you noticed this thing happening? Yeah, but I'm not uh, very active on social media, mm -hmm. so I I can't really relate to that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I see it happening. I'm not I'm not I'm not the sort of person who posts everything they do. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm like superior, but just because I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. No, but that's no, but that's that's very good. I think you know there was, and I and I speak about it many times. There was life before social media, so it's it's good to know that a person of your young age, not you know, into everything. But and I, I, I also think it's very useful, mm -hmm. and um, many young people are using it in a way that's very useful. So I mm -hmm. mean, you know, there's good and bad sides to everything. So you know. Mm -hmm. I think the younger generation is doing a good job, so let's not. <laughs> yeah. <okay>. yeah. <laughs> and, and, um, because I always hear people going like, you know, this younger generation, them and social media, well, they've done a lot of good stuff too, so give them some credit, you know. <laughs> I feel like crying. I <laughs> Did I, I just tell you off? <laughs> I, I want to cry, they're doing such a wonderful job. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I'm supposed to be messing with you. What is this role reversal? Okay, um, right, so yes, I 
sort of like got some answers from you and in a very confusing sort of a way. <laughs> and uh, I, I like I, doing that. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. I'm more confused than I was before I came into this interview. <laughs> but uh, well done, you're doing a, a great job. And he's pretty happy. So yeah, look, look, look. He's <laughs> really happy. Okay. Um, you would... I was going to go to a section called, you know, uh, mean uh, sort of comments, but you wouldn't have, because you're not on social media that much. I you am on social have media and I do get mean comments, but what I think, it, I don't think it's envy. Mm. I think there's an epidemic of loneliness because of social media and because of how connected we are. We're also very disconnected. Mm. So people are, they seek reactions, right? And that's what makes them do whatever they do. So that's how I look at it, because I know that's what you were going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> An epidemic of loneliness. Yeah. I must leave now. <laughs> I want to get back. I feel so bad now. I need to shut up. I'm no, no, no. Up. It's just, uh, it's, uh, you know, why don't you just kill me softly? I mean, it's a, you're killing me softly. Um, yeah, you're, you're pretty deep than that girlfriend uh, sort of... Uh, Acting that you did in Twisted Sapne, I had had no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, it is a very serious subject because people don't believe that they're lonely, but half of the problem is that there is some kind or some sort of loneliness. Um, Even when people are acting out, mm -hmm. when they're acting in ways that are not necessarily good or, mm -hmm. you know, it's just because they're trying to get a reaction. Everyone wants connection at the end of the day. And when they don't get it, they have their ways of going around it. People become manipulative because of that. People wow. employ different methods of getting what they don't get otherwise. And that's right. why people do what they do. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, everyone just wants the same thing. Adoration, validation. And when mm -hmm. they don't get it, some of us are wise enough to understand that it's a limited resource and you can't always have it. And some mm -hmm. of us just can't come to terms with this and come to terms with that and just become the people that they are. So, yeah. Are you okay? No. <laughs> I'm not okay. I have just, from your conversation, found out how many faults I have. And maybe I'm lonely. Um, I found out. But the, why I actually have this reaction, very seriously, ladies and gentlemen, why I'm actually having this reaction is because what you've just said, I know this but I know this at my age now. You know this at a very young age, which is, you know, full marks to you. I know that our youth in Pakistan uh, are very mature because, you know, you do get better. But uh, where did you get this amount of maturity? Is it your parents that we have to, or your upbringing uh, that we talk to? This is a very, this is not the sort of um, interview or not the sort of person that I thought that um, you would be. So where does this amount of maturity come from? I don't really know. It's just, uh, uh, I've just always been on a quest to question everything and mm. I doubt myself a lot and I get all the answers that I need through mm. that. So yeah, that's what it is. Mm. <laughs> Nothing special. I think um, everyone kind of knows it. They mm. just don't pay attention to it. We're all just mm. distracted. We know what's wrong. We're just mm. distracted. Mm. So this is your quest. Yeah, that was exaggerated, but oh, no, okay. that's why I'm an actress. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Now, you mentioned something that you are, you are into, into music uh, as well. Yeah. And is it listening music or is it... Well, I haven't uh, professionally pursued it as mm. such, but I do write songs mm -hmm. and I do um, have a good air for music. I can sing mm -hmm. and all of that good stuff, but... People will have to wait to know about that. So. Yes, I mean, yeah. with a, such a sultry voice as yours, I can imagine that, you know, you would be a singer or could be a singer as well. Uh, and that you means, really hung up over my voice, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am. I think what it is, I'll tell you what it is. It's the girlfriend act and then the reality of therapist and then the voice. It's like two, three different people for me. So yes, I am. It's, I'm just totally flipped, taken aback by you. Look at you. Just look at you, look at, look at you, look at you. Look. He's looking, she's looking. Look at you. Look at you. Sorry, 
just want to write. It's a therapeutic thing. If you were still in the business, of course, I would pay you to sort of help me out. But, uh, you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to um, another section. And uh, this section, very successfully, is called Try Not to Laugh. That is what the name of the uh, uh, segment is. Uh, if you laugh or smile or, you know, look at me beautifully, you know, um, I win. Thank you. First mark. And um, if you don't laugh, then, of course, I really haven't done a great job and I don't know what I'm doing here. So uh, let's start um, with that, shall we? All right. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Mm. So this is a section where we get a little close and we look at each other. Um, and if um, you laugh, then I win. And if you don't laugh, then I don't. It's all about me, myself and I, these three people who constantly live with me. Sorry, am I going too much into therapy? No? Okay. Are you ready? So I think that pretty much sure. That didn't work. The fact that you tried playing it and <laughs> you couldn't get to it. <laughs> that was funnier. <laughs> so I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> That's why I burst out laughing before you even played that. Well, that was the whole trick. But, but you still get a point, so. Do I have one? Oh, thanks so much. Uh, okay. I thought you knew. No. I'm taking it back. <laughs> You're taking it back? I'm taking it back. No, take it back. All right. Hmm. You know, sometimes these things work, and then sometimes they don't work. I don't know why. No. Pigs are reportedly running rampant in a Venice community. The oh Jack Randall West. Hi, I'm I'm hi, I'm Tommy Chong, and good day, Tampa Bay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I am not laughing at <laughs> it. Going through, I mean. What was funnier was your inability <laughs> to find me something to laugh to than the actual. <laughs> My inability? My inability? inability to find <laughs> anything to make me laugh. I'm so glad you're not laughing. I don't want to leave. <laughs> Sonia! <laughs> that was something. Yes. <laughs> Um, okay. Thank you very much indeed for all your lovely. Was that an ad? Uh, I, I think it was. I think there were two, in, in, in within this, there were about two or three different ads. I think it's doing really well. Um, I don't really know where to go from here, but the only place that I feel that one can go from here uh, with you and, of course, the sultry voice is a film noir. Do you know what film noir is? A little section that we do. It's we go back into the 1960s, the 1970s, 
and we play those parts. Will you play that part? Well, let's do it. Here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click my fingers and we're going to be in a scene somewhere playing out a certain story. All right. All right. All right. Oh my God, it's you. I didn't expect to meet you here in North Nazmabad. You look absolutely stunning. Let me, oh wow. Um, uh, I've just come out of a time machine. I've been trying to find you for the last two, three hundred years. And here I am, I found you. I also didn't expect you to be here. Sorry? I also didn't expect you will be here. Are you happy to see me? Very. Okay, so uh, what do we do about it? What do you want to do? Will you come back with me in my time machine and we can go to a nice, a better time? What machine? Time machine. Will you, will you follow me in my time machine so that we can go and live in the 1960s or the 1970s? Would you do that? Why would I do that? Oh, I feel like I'm in therapy again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the next segment that we're going to be doing is called the, uh, the headphone game. Have you heard of the headphone game? I have. You have? Yeah. Okay. This is, ladies and gentlemen, for you, I, I wouldn't try this at home. Uh, this is where you put a headphone over your head with music and the other person will say something. And you have to try and seek a lip sync, say, uh, if you can, uh, you know, get what it is through a lip sync. So, uh, would you like to put on these headphones? Mariam Fatima. Is there new music playing? Can you hear me? Do you, can you hear what I'm saying? You, you can't hear what I I'm saying? I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, thank you very much indeed for telling me that you can't hear me even when I've asked you that question. Excellent. What? I can't hear you. Okay, uh, good. Uh, now, one of the things I'm going to be saying now, lip sync is coming, number one. Watermelons. Watermelons. Watermelons? Yes. Got it. I'm just too good at this. Um, in a galaxy far, far away. In a galaxy far, far away. Thank you very much. Third one. Um, Walkie-talkie. Again? Walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie? I'm sure you could hear everything I was saying. No, you're just... No, you're just... Oh my God, look at this! No, you're just... No, you're just... You've heard everything I've said and you pretended. You can't be that intelligent. I don't care how pretty you are. You can't be that intelligent. Stop it! Stop playing with my mind! <laughs> oh, sorry, it was just a small outburst. Uh, let's get back to normal programming. Uh, <laughs> did you enjoy that? I actually can't, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, now! Okay, look at me. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? I... <laughs> Again. Can you ensure that? Yes. I'm not that bad. <laughs> okay, we can take the things off now. It was, did you enjoy that? But you got, did you ensure that? Did so, you ensure um, that? A little bit of my voice was leaking through, wasn't it? I mean, you... A little bit, yeah. But you were enunciating. <laughs> so, <laughs> you made it easy for it's me. It's just the effect you have on me. Uh, <laughs> it's just exactly what it is. Okay. We're going to go to another section now. Um, let me just check. Are we going to do something we're going to do? <clears throat> what do you have planned for the future? Anything that you'd like to see uh, yourself do for four or five things or just one thing for the future? Where do you see yourself going in the future? Well, I think my answer remains the same. Mm -hmm. Like lots of things. Mm -hmm. I don't have like one special focus, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever I do, I hope I do it well. Mm -hmm. 
very vague answer, I know. <laughs> okay. It seems to me that you and your husband love each other very much. Yeah, we do. Good. I'm happy to hear it. You're a very lucky girl. He's a very lucky guy. Because you've been so talkative and answered my question so that I don't get myself in a twirl and I understand everything you say, is there anything that you'd like to say to uh, our audience, uh, uh, people who are your fans, or a, a point of view that you'd like to say from this platform? Uh, there's this uh, misconception about therapy that there, there needs to be something wrong with you mm. for you to want it, for you to seek that mm. kind of professional help. But I feel like if you're lost and if you want to find yourself, I think that's a great place to start because that really helped me with a lot of stuff in finding out who, finding out about who I am. So I would recommend like younger people to look into that, not just because there's something wrong with them, but just because it's a great way of self-discovery. So, yeah. Very well said. Uh, this is something which I think is new to this country, but even in America, people say, oh, I'm just going to go and see my analyst. Oh, I'm just going to go and see, which it is not taken as a sort of a taboo subject. And it's good to talk. And I think uh, one of the greatest things that, uh, on a serious note, that somebody can do is to actually listen to you. Because when somebody listens to you, I feel at least half of the problem is gone. You know, and when you talk it out, you can probably see somewhere uh, maybe a shimmer of light or of hope. And so I totally agree with you. I think this is something which should not be a taboo uh, subject. And um, I should most probably go and see a therapist. I'd like to thank you for that. What is the um, opinion that you have of this industry and of the acting game and the whole media game set up here in Pakistan. How do you feel about that, Mariam? Uh, in terms of television, I feel like we still have a long way to go, but I'm hopeful about um, digital media and stuff like that because that's, that's really a place where we'll be able to see people create things that actually mean something and things that are actually of quality rather than just things that have been recycled and been thrown at us. And I think that that's, that's the only way that things are going to change. So yeah, that's my opinion of it. In terms of television, uh, I think it could be better, but digital media is what it is now. So What about the aspect of film and movies, which really hasn't taken off because of the COVID situation? Do you think there is a future I'd say the film? same thing, but mm -hmm. even in, in terms of films, like. I don't think that there is a lot mm -hmm. that is going to happen very soon, mm -hmm. but um, I mean, everyone's taking baby steps, so we'll see what happens. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much indeed um, for joining us. Uh, for me, it has been a complete joy, and um, I wish you and your career and your family all the best. Thank you so much for joining us, and I would like to ask you to you know, come and see us again, uh, maybe tomorrow and the day after, <laughs> maybe the day after that. So, Thank you for having me. You know, so it's it's, a, it's a, pleasure. a pleasure. Well, there we have it, uh, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Uh, the gorgeous Mariam Fatima uh, has joined us. We'll see you again uh, in the next episode. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Um, think a little bit about therapy, if you most probably can. I know I will be thinking about it now. See you in the next episode. Thank you. God bless. Mm -hmm.